So sticking with the Fed conversation then, it, this is the work function on the Bloomberg, much cited of course, 62% probability then of a rate cut in September now. That probability has been coming down a little bit since the end of June, working its way downwards. Um, do you, what, what are you factoring in then from the Fed? If this is a mid-cycle adjustment, what does that translate to for Goldman Sachs Asset Management in terms of the number of cuts still to come? Yeah, I think likely one more this year, whether it's September or October is probably more academic than, than sort of economic impactful. Um, um, so one more cut to come and then I think they'll wait and see how things play out. But there's still a lot of uncertainties that slow down across the globe. We'll have to see how that plays out. Of course, the trade tensions, you know, they've been at times quite acute and then it seems to calm down a little bit. So again, they will have to adjust to that. In the background, of course, is Brexit. So there's still a lot of uncertainties and unknowns the Fed has to deal with. But I think that notion of mid-cycle adjustment, we had one in the 95, 96 era. We had similar thing in the 98. The Fed cut three times in that instance. So, you know, I think one more cut, possibly a third, but, but at least one more cut. Let me put to you the MLive question of the day, Andrew, and that is, has Jerome Powell killed the everything rally? Of course, we've been seeing a rally across asset classes up until now. It looks like, at least in stocks, that's turned around pretty drastically, um, and we do see yields kind of floating up today. So what do you think? Has the Fed's move and the way that they went about it killed this everything rally? Well, firstly, Matt, the Fed's job is not as to cause markets to rally, right? The Fed's job is to have a sustainable economy, full employment and inflation at their target. So I think that's really what they're focused on. The immediate reaction obviously is somewhat negative, I think, just because the market's taken out that more aggressive uh, policy action that many had priced in. But I think if you stand back a little bit and say, well, this is an economy growing at a round trend with inflation a little bit below target, likely to stay at a relatively stable but low interest rates now for an extended period, that sounds like a pretty constructive environment from my perspective. Okay, and you cited there the 90s when the Fed has acted in maybe a similar way, Andrew. I've got a chart that sort of reminds us of where the Fed funds target has moved over that period in the 90s, and we've circled here in the red, the Asian crisis and the ruble crisis. Do, does this have, do, do, we, do you see parallels with the 90s and what happened there? Because, yes, Powell talked about mid-cycle adjustment. One of my colleagues was referring to a pause in the 90s that refreshed markets. Yeah. Extending the cycle seems to be the aim. Are there parallels? with this period? No, I think there are parallels. Now, there's certainly very different. We were at much lower interest rates than we were then. But nevertheless, I think it is maybe the pause that refreshes. There's no reason to think we're going to go into a recession. Look at Q2 GDP. Consumption grew at 4% on an annualised basis. So the consumer in the US is still actually pretty healthy. So I think this is likely to extend the cycle. So I think it is reasonable to compare the 90s with where we are now.